Welcome to my YouTube channel Modi Mechanical Engineering Tutorials. In this video, I would like to explain about some basics about sheet metal working processes. So let us start with the, some of the introduction about it. So in case of the sheet metal working that will be having a wide applications in the field of engineering and in our day to day life. So most of the products that will be made with the sheet metal working operations. Or you can say the many articles that will be used into the household applications as well as into the engineering applications whose production by other methods will be uneconomical and complicated are made from the sheet metals. So in some applications that will be having a difficulties to convert into desired shape and size. But if you select your raw material as a sheet metal materials so you can easily converting into feasible shape and size as well as that will be economical economical as compared to other applications so it is necessary to understand the construction and basic working of the hand tools sheet metal working machines and basic principles of the different operations to attain this proficiency in this trade of engineering so for successful working into the trade we must have a good knowledge of the projective geometry, development of the surfaces as well as the properties of the different metals. So properties that will be very important part of any kind of selection of the materials for the engineering applications. After this, there are some of the example of the sheet metal form. So look at this examples it will be start from the small applications or you can say household applications to the aerospace applications or you can say it will be also used into the automobile applications so in case of these all applications it will be having a complicated shape as well as the strength is also required so you can easily converting these sheet metals into the desired shape and size and that will be also economical than other methods after this in case of the sheet metal working there are different types of metals used into the sheet metal work in the form of sheets or you can say plates so basically it will be having the two forms as a raw materials and that specifications of the metal sheets are given in terms of their gauge number length and width gauge number that will be represent a thickness of the sheets. So as per the my requirement of the applications, I would like to select the gauge number of the sheets. So you have some knowledge about that properties of the materials with respect to the gauge number as well as the thickness of the sheet metals. So the higher the gauge number and the smaller the thickness. So this is the basic, you can say relation of the gauge number with the thickness of the sheet metal. After this, the materials, it will be used as a black iron. So in case of the black iron or you can say uncoated sheet carries a no artificial coating on its surface, but that will be cheaper than other types of sheet metals. So that will be the one of the advantages of the black iron material as a sheet metal. Then components made from this type of metal are pens, tanks, cabinets, Almiras, stove pipes, and many more. After this material, we can also use the galvanized iron. So in case of the galvanized iron, which is as a proper device, it will be soft iron sheet and that will be carries a zinc coating on its surface. So by these coatings, it will be makes the surface good looking as well as the rust resistance. So that will be having a one of the advantages of the surface engineering it will be carried out onto the galvanized iron so that will be increasing the life of that sheet metal as well as it will be also having some corrosion resistance so the components made from this type of metal are storage tanks buckets heating ducts furnaces guitars pans trunks and many more applications in case of the aluminium sheets so due to the low strength of the aluminium sheets, they are not used into the pure form. 
and suitable amount of the silicon manganese copper and iron are added so that will be enhanced the mechanical property of aluminium material so that will be having a low density but converting into high strength by the addition of the silicon manganese copper and iron so such kind of material or you can say composition of the material it will be used into the many more applications so it offers the high resistance to corrosion and abrasions into the applications they are used in the manufacture of aeroplane bodies kitchenware and cabinets doors windows arid building work electrical appliance and many more then after copper sheets so in case of the copper sheets are costlier than aluminium but offers the good resistance to the corrosions and also that will be having a relatively good into the appearance so due to such kind of properties it will be having a wide applications so they are reddish into the color highly ductile and malleable so that will be easily converting into desired shape and size easily and that will be also having a good appearance so they are used into the applications like radiators of the automobiles heating appliances gutters hoods and components into the chemical plants after this the stainless steel in case of the stainless steel that will be offering the high resistance to corrosion and exhibits a bright surfaces for the stainless steels so many applications into the household or you can say into the food processing plant chemical plants so that will be also used into the dairy equipments and dairy manufacturing components after this tin plates so tin plates are used for those iron sheets which are coated with the pure tin in case of the tin plates are used for making the food containers containers for the cooking oils and ghee cans etc after the tin plates there are discussing with the various applications so just you can see so many applications that will be used into the household as well as in case of the automobile industries the cabinets in the aeroplanes the bikes then car bodies these uh, washing machines uh, their bodies so many applications that will be made with the sheet metals so i hope you understand this if you like this then subscribe and share modi mechanical engineering tutorials thank you so much and keep watching